Hello everyone, I'm Dmitry with Harak Nux and... Hello? Where are you? On the train. What train? The hype train. So yes, No Man's Sky may be the biggest Steam launch for 2016. It's a little bit crazy to think that, but it sure has crushed so many expectations of many loaded with complaints, red thumbs from the community. So today we're gonna take a look at the two latest mid-range GPUs, the RX 480 and the GTX 1060 and see which camp was more prepared with uh, day one drivers for the game and which one gives us better performance. This video is sponsored by Audible.com. Get your free audiobook with a 30-day trial at audible.com slash HWC. I normally listen to podcasts and read sci-fi novels, but the massive selection of books and someone reading them to you is quite appealing. I've been listening to The Brain Maker, which is a fascinating story that connects the science of microorganisms in your gut to the health of your brain. It's quite fascinating to listen to while I edit the videos. Visit audible.com slash HWC to get your free audiobook with a 30-day trial. Happy listening. In our previous video with the GTX 1060 versus the RX 480, we determined that the GTX 1060 on average was 8% faster at 1440p versus the RX 480, and this is based on 10 games in total. So let's launch No Man's Sky, and here's the run that I completed on both cards. So I start by destroying these two lovely trees, jump over to this mighty tree beside me, laser these crystals for some more isotopes, jump to this rock and activate my scanner and basically form a perimeter around the building using these large trees as my reference points of where to go. Then I jump into my Gaborio KS340, seriously, who comes up with this stuff? And proceed to fly across this body of water until we hit the observation tower and fire some photo cannon into it. Then we'll exit the atmosphere facing the a little distant planet then turn towards the closest larger planet and activate my pulse drive, after which turning the ship around and observe this water planet. So I feel this run is pretty fair, giving us a good representation of the range in the performance realm. Uh, we are on the planet on foot, then we're in a spaceship, and then we're in space, and then we're doing the hyperdrives, which basically surrounds your entire gameplay for No Man's Sky. Graphically, it feels like this game should not be demanding as textures are basically non-existent, draw distance is pretty poor, so I ran two presets at 1440p with everything on high and then everything on medium as well, the game was restarted to take effect to see how the cards would handle No Man's Sky. And so at medium settings, I was pretty surprised at how poor the game ran on average, with the GTX 1060 giving us a whopping 40% better score with much better minimums. Some frame fluctuations are present on both cards. Uh, this is not an optimized game in any way, with much better performance while in space instead of the planet. Turning everything on high and on average, the GTX 1060 performs 38% better, uh, but look at that minimum and how it lines up with the RX 480's average while experiencing uh, smoother frame rates over time on the NVIDIA GPU. Another interesting test was VRAM usage with the GTX 1060 consuming 3.7 gigabytes, a full gigabyte more than the 2.7 on the RX 480. And so the conclusion is simple. No Man's Sky is a poorly optimized game, especially for AMD hardware, giving us 40% less performance on the uh, RX 480 versus the GTX 1060. Now, Hello Games has hired the quality assurance team that is larger than their developer team to solve all bunch of problems and here's hoping that we'll get a better driver update as No Man's Sky continues to be in the top 10 games uh, by Steam player count. So it's still fairly significant, fairly fresh, but I feel that uh, you know excitement may dip quite significantly if it's not fixed for optimization. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you are playing No Man's Sky, let us know what uh, performance you're getting and if you're enjoying the game at all. I'm Dimitri with Howard Canucks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next video.